Let's run across this. Whoa. Don't hit him in the freaking chest. Let's see if I can chop his legs off. Ow, that hurt. Get back, Jack. Don't you come back no more. No. Oh, God. Oh, no. He's right there. Oh, God. What's up, Street Thugs? My name is Brig, and we're going to be talking about Seven Days Dies, Twitch integration, and how to customize your own commands. Okay, I feel really stupid right now because I already recorded this. It was very like botched up and like just a bunch of random comments and stuff that I was going to splice all together. I I went to go edit the file, edit my video here. I couldn't find it. It was gone. I was like, where the hell's my file? Where'd it go? I streamed that whole thing. So Doc feels bad. I hope it wasn't too bad. Um, uh, yeah. So I'm like super embarrassed and I'm like sweating because I'm so embarrassed. But anyway, moving on. Okay. <laughs> so if you're here, you're probably here looking for ways to customize commands. If you're looking for a way to add your own commands, uh, please go check out uh, Kaluna Spitfire's channel. She uh, does a, a bunch of great stuff for that. Go follow her Twitch channel. Go subscribe to her YouTube channel. Her videos really help me out. She's a great person. She's one of the moderators for Lathan, aka Fubar Fry. Fubar Prime, Fubar Prime's uh, Twitch channel for uh, Lathan is the the creator and lead developer of Seven Days to Die. Kaluna really helped me out trying to figure out how to add my own custom hordes and stuff. But today we're going to be focusing on how to customize the existing commands in the game. This is really easy to do. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to go to uh, on your computer. It's most likely saved in your computer, local disk, program files, Steam, Steam apps, common Seven Days to Die data and config. Okay. Once once you pull that up, you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom. You're going to want to grab Twitch. Pull it up either in Notepad or Notepad Plus. I am using Notepad Plus. That is why it looks like this. You can do whatever you want to. You do not have to use this. Uh, if you want to use just Notepad, that is absolutely fine. We'll look at the Twitch backup I have. Just, you know, always make a backup. So you'll notice here the command is spawn normal. So you have spawn normal, okay? That is the normal command in the existing. Remember I said we're going to be focusing on existing commands within the game, okay? Let's say you just want to take this whole thing out here, the whole spawn underscore, delete that, and you just want to do normal. Let's say you've already gone through all the commands and you've altered them, so it's not just supply books, supply underscore books, it's just hashtag books, or maybe it's not, you know, hashtag spawn underscore white, it's just hashtag white. You've gone through, you've, you've pulled all these out, and it's not working. That is because this command key right here. Now this command key, what it's doing is it's telling this value, this action here, this Twitch action spawn normal command, it's telling you to go view another file, right? And check the languages, okay? So if you were playing in Dutch, German, French, Spanish, it's gonna go through and it's gonna put in the appropriate command that matches what you're doing. So this is going to overwrite this top command. All you need to do is simply delete this line. That is it. Delete that line. There's no command there to go tell it to go look in this file for the right information. Now, um, there's also there's also a description key. There's also a title key. You don't have to mess with these. It's not necessary. Uh, if you wanted to change their names like douchebag or whatever, you can do that. <laughs> I don't know why you would, but uh, uh, mean old zombie man. But this is what I'm focusing on right now. This is command. Now, you want to be very careful. I really push that you manually go through these and change what you want to change. Because some of these are so, say like this right here. Say that I have this change the crawler, but it all says spawn crawler. So if I hit control H, and let's say I just want to do uh, spawn crawler. Uh, spawn like that. What, well, I want to get rid of anything that says spawn underscore. So it deletes them all. And that way it removes the whole front section. So it's just the word, the normal, the spider, the bon the biker, the feral, the rad. Problem is, is that's not the only thing that's in here. This right here, the spawn caller you see right here. Let me get out of here so I can show you. This one right here. This is an event command. This is telling the game what to do. If you delete that, this has no way of knowing what to do in this command. And the game may not even load if you try. So just go through and find them. So, and, and usually what you can looking for here is you're looking for this command line right here. That's what you're looking for. Command. There's a command for mama. Hashtag mama. Don't get rid of this. Okay. This, this is all one name. 
or the game event. If that doesn't exist, then that event doesn't work. So very simple, very easy, but I want to give a big shout out for Kaluna because Kaluna's videos are what helped me figure out how to add my own hordes. Um, I did do a few of them like that. Um, we can take a peek out of them since I'm here. We'll just go ahead and scroll down to my commands, which are down here, right there. Briggs custom commands. I have a Twitch horde, which will spawn, spawn. It will spawn five normal zombies. I have my fat horde, which is spawns five tough zombies. And then I have my murder of crows, which spawns 15 freaking vultures. So stuff like that. Um, I've also changed a couple of my, my buff commands. Uh, these are supply drops. These are, I just, I just removed the supply plus. You can do that for all of those. So if you want to supply some books, you don't have to do hashtag supply underscore books. You can just do hashtag books pretty easy enough if we scroll down here to buffs you can see here blur uh these are all distort grayscale pretty simple right these are the basic ones region uh fast slow jump energize shield these are all normally like that however i do have a some, some like boost melee i have as hashtag thor or uh boost range hashtag assist okay and then uh weak melee hashtag weak underscore melee is going to be gimp and then uh, no melee is lame, hashtag lame. Uh, we already have down here to impair, which is uh, hashtag weaken or weak underscore range. And then hashtag no underscore range has become hashtag jam, like you're jamming your weapon. So there's a, there's a couple of fun things you do. I change a couple of those just to it's simpler. Um, stop moving, I change to just stop. Uh, keep moving, you just hashtag move. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do with that. Just kind of simplify if you like to, you don't have to, just for the fun of it. And then uh, just make it a little easier. Uh, like for instance, vulture, hashtag spawn underscore vulture. I just changed to spawn bird, hashtag, or just hashtag bird, not spawn bird, hashtag bird. Just to make it easier, quicker. Granted, the quicker you make it easier it is, the more they're going to send after you, the faster that's going to send after you. So be careful. But just for some fun. So thank you guys. I appreciate all your support. Like I said, go check out Kaluna Spitfire. Uh, also check out, if you can, go check out Lai Lai. Go check out uh, Bebe Kinze. If you haven't already checked out my Twitch channel, go check out my Twitch channel. Go ahead and follow. It's free. And then of course, if you haven't subscribed to my channel here, hit the subscribe button. It is also free. I appreciate all your support. Remember to subscribe, like, ring that bell for notifications. I appreciate all of you. And I will see you again soon. Stay golden and take care. Bye-bye.